so this is the next question 3c we need to calculate the divergence of d at the point specified okay if so here we are having some of the sub cases that is they have given the divergence value is 1 by z square into 10 x y z a x vector plus 5 x square z a y vector plus 2 z cube minus 5 x square y a z vector at point specified that is minus 2 plus 3 plus 5 since from the points only you can see that it the, these are the values of x y and z and x y and z comes under the rectangular coordinate system so that's why in order to find the divergence of d we have one relation for divergence that is del dot d is equal to rho v we need to expand del dot d in rectangular coordinate system since the points mentioned are x y z okay then expand the value of del dot d in a rectangular coordinate system here okay that is dou by dou x of dx plus dou by dou y of dy plus dou by dou z of dz okay then dou by dou x of substitute the one of one by one the values of uh, uh, dx dy and dz that is dx value is 10x y 10x y z divided by z square since we did not multiply this one by z square to this whole term so when i am writing the coefficients i am uh, multiplying and writing and that is 10x y z by z square dy is 5x square z by z square dz is 2z cube minus 5x square y by z square okay you can see that here z and z would be getting cancelled here then the simplified term is dou by dou x of 10x y by z plus dou by dou y of 5x square by z plus dou by dou z of 2z cube minus 5x square y by z square so here you can see that it is of the form u by v so i have applied u by v rule separately okay that is here uh, denominator square numerator into differentiation of denominator with respect to x okay so in the denominator side we have only z no x term so it is 0 minus denominator into differentiation of numerator with respect to x that is differentiation of x is 1 and this 10 y we need to keep it as it is constant okay then here same goes here dou by dou y of 5x square by z you can, as you can see that while we differentiate here we don't have any y term here so this whole term you can neglect it and make it 0 so also here z square that is uh, square square of de denominator that is uh, z square the whole square that is z power 4 numerator into differentiation of denominator is 2z with respect to z minus denominator into differentiation of numerator with respect to z that is here we don't have any z term so this is 0 and 2z cube differentiation is 6z square okay then again simplify then here we are getting the answer as 10yz minus 10yz by z square plus uh, this term is 0 then if we multiply this we are getting 4z power 4 minus 10x square yz minus z square into 6z square is 6z, 6z to the power 4 divided by z power 4 so you can cancel your z and z square here okay then uh, we are getting del dot d is equal to minus 10y by z then 4z to power 4 minus 6z power 4 is minus 2z power 4 then minus 10x square yz by z then here you can take 2z common okay so that we can cancel z and z z term in the denominator so here we would be getting only z cube okay then minus 10y by z minus 2z cube by z cube here we are remaining with z cube minus 2 into 5 that is minus 10x square y by z cube again okay then we can cancel z cube z cube and this is the answer we have got for uh, del dot d so we need to substitute uh, the values of x y and z as minus 2 3 5 so that's why i substituted and simplified the answer and i've got here the answer as minus 8.96 coulombs per meter cube okay so yeah this was the brief problem of divergence for first case similarly we have two more uh, sub questions let's see that as well so this is the second sub question where the value of d is now phi z square a rho plus 10 rz az at p is equal to 3 comma minus 45 degree comma 5 so this is in the cylindrical coordinate system so expand del dot d in cylindrical coordinate system that is 1 by rho dou by dou rho of rho d rho plus 1 by rho dou by dou phi of d phi plus dou by dou z of dz since here in this term we don't have any d phi term so this term whole term would be equal to 0 so del dot d is equal to 1 by rho dou by dou rho of rho d rho that is phi z square substitute that and in place of d phi substitute 10 rho z okay so this is rho z okay then del dot d is equal to 1 by rho dou by dou rho of then multiply this rho here so phi z square rho plus dou by dou z of 10 rho z so that's why uh, uh, differentiate this term with respect to rho so differentiation of rho is 1 so 1 by rho phi z square plus dou by dou z of 10 rho z that is with respect to z we need to differentiate that is 10 rho so our final answer for del dot d is phi z square by rho plus 10 rho then substitute the parameters here that is rho, phi and z okay 3 minus 45 and 5 
so 5 z square so z value is uh, 5 here so 5 5 square by 3 plus 10 into rho the rho value is 3 so 10 into 3 so 5 into 5 square that is 25 into 5 125 by 3 plus 30 and if you simplify this this is the value of del dot d we are getting that is 71.6 coulombs per meter cube similarly see the third sub question it's in the spherical coordinate form d is equal to 2r sin theta sin phi ar vector plus r cos theta sin phi a theta vector plus r cos phi a phi vector at p is equal to 3 comma 45 degree comma 45 degree where the values of r theta and phi okay the del dot d is equal to in spherical coordinate system it is 1 by r square do by do r of r square dr plus 1 by r sin theta do by do theta of d theta sin theta plus 1 by r sin theta do by do phi of t phi so del dot d is equal to substitute the parameters of dr d theta and d phi okay i have substituted here okay so when i am explaining you can take it down okay then 1 by r square of uh, then multiply uh, r square to this term that is 2 r cube sin theta sin phi plus 1 by r theta uh, r sin theta do by do theta of r sin theta so here what i am doing is since we have sin theta cos theta i am multiplying and dividing by 2 okay that is what we can do is this 2 sin theta cos theta can be replaced by sin 2 theta right okay and its differentiation with respect to theta we are getting it as cos 2 theta okay so that's why i have written it as cos 2 theta so your r and r would be getting cancelled since we are differentiating with respect to theta then this sin phi would be remaining as it is okay so that's why this then this one here we have 1 by r sin theta into minus r sin phi this since differentiation of cos phi is minus sin phi so that's why r and r will be getting cancelled here and we are re remaining with minus sin theta sin sin phi sin theta so del dot d is equal to so now del dot d is equal to here r square and r square will be getting cancelled here since the differentiation of dou by dou r is 2 r cube that is 6 r square so r square r square will be getting cancelled we would be left with 6 sin, sin theta sin phi plus sin theta so sin phi divided by 2 sin theta since in the denominator we have 2 okay and here we have sin theta so 2 sin theta in 2 cos 2 theta minus sin phi sin theta okay this is the answer of del dot d so then substitute the parameter that is 3 comma 45 degree comma 45 degree okay and substitute it and simplify the values that is sin 45 is 0 0.707 then sin 45 divided by 2 sin 45 so we can cancel the sin 45 would be left with 1 by 2 and cos 90 is 0 then sin 45 sin 45 again cancel then that is minus 1 so this if we multiply we are getting 2.999 minus so this is 0 minus 1 so if we round it off this to 3 so 3 minus 1 is approximately our del dot d value is 2 coulombs per meter cube okay so this was the simple problem of this model paper so if you want to refer this uh, this similar kind of problems we have uh, solved it in our concept videos which is available in our playlist okay that is the problems uh, related to divergence you can see on the top right of your screen now you can click on that you can watch that video okay let's get to the next question so this is the next question obtain an expression for electric field intensity due to an infinite line charge along z axis having a uniform charge of rho l coulombs per meter using gauss law okay this rho l corresponds to line charge density okay so we know that solution first draw the surface here cylindrical surface with this outer surface of this in the from with respect to origin and z axis that is rho l and the inner surface area is represented as rho s okay and these are the three axes z y and x then from gauss law we know that psi is equal to q so we have a relation for psi that is psi is equal to surface integral of d dot ds right so in place of psi uh, replace it by q so surface integral of d dot ds okay so now q is equal to surface integral of d dot ds q is equal to uh, then substitute the values for limits of z that is z is from 0 to l okay then uh, phi angle we know that the range of phi is from 0 to 2 phi so that is from 0 to 2 pi into d is replaced by dr r dr okay and in place of ds in uh, for uh, uh, what to say we need to be substituting as r d phi dz okay then uh, r dr you can take it common outside then 0 to l integration of dz 0 to 2 pi integration of d phi so r dr then integration of dz is z substitute the limits upper limit minus lower limit that is l minus 0 
and 2 pi minus 0 then we are getting our charge q as 2 pi into l into dr into r okay so now from this what we can do is we can uh, sub find the substitute the value of dr that is bring dr to one side and keep uh, all the terms to other side that is q divided by 2 pi r l so ie we can write dr as dr into a cap r vector is equal to q by 2 pi r l a r vector since here q by l is equal to rho l okay we know that the formula for rho l is in general it is delta q by delta l so in this case it is q by l so in place of q by l write it as rho l so our value of uh, d since dr ar vector is equal to d here okay since we are uh, considering uh, uh, with only with respect to r so it is d is equal to dr ar vector so d is equal to rho l divided by 2 pi r into ar vector okay since we have the relationship of uh, electric flux density d is equal to epsilon naught times e since we are doing this in free space so that's why the permittivity is absolute permittivity then e is equal to uh, d by epsilon naught so now what we are doing is in this term we are uh, uh, adding one term that is epsilon naught in the denominator side so our expression is for electric field intensity E is rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon naught R AR vector voltage uh, volts per meter okay so this is the expression down here okay so please uh, make a note of this also also if you want to uh, if you want the videos uh, related to Gauss law we have uh, separately made you the video of Gauss law in our concept section it is available in our playlist so if you want you can see the top right of your screen now you can go click that and you can go to that video okay it is available so this was the solution please note it down so hello everyone welcome to today's session so we know that we are doing this after a long time but yeah there was a few circumstances where we had a busy schedule so that's why now we are again continuing so now we would promise you that we would be regularly uploading the videos so today we would be continuing with the topic of module 2 of electromagnetic theory that is divergence theorem okay so now what is this equation for divergence theorem basically is how this equation comes okay so this uh, the equation of divergence theorem comes from the basic equation of divergence that is del dot d is equal to rho v okay where d is the electric flux density which uh, unit is coulombs per meter square and rho v is the volume charge density its uh, unit is coulombs per meter cube and again now charge q can also be obtained by integrating rho v over a volume uh, v that is q is equal to uh, volume integral of rho v dv okay but uh, according to gauss law we know that one condition we have that is q is equal to psi okay and also del dot d is equal to rho v so in place of rho v uh, we have written here del dot d and in place of q I have written here psi so in this way I have just uh, changed the equation by replacing q by psi and by replacing rho v by del dot d okay yeah so uh, I have written it again in the form of uh, by changing the equation that is psi is equal to volume integral of del dot d dv uh, I have written it as equation 1 okay also we know that psi is equal to surface integral of d dot ds this also comes from the Gauss law okay this is the equation of Gauss law uh, which we have already studied so we know that psi is equal to surface integral of d dot ds write it as equation 2 so now from equation 1 and equation 2 what we will be getting uh, we, we need to equate uh, psi terms or two psi terms are there we need to equate it that is surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of rho v dv okay since rho v is equal to del dot d therefore surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of del dot d dv so this is our main equation for divergence theorem okay yeah so in order to if you if in the exam if they ask to state and prove divergence theorem uh, in maximum it might be asked for four to five marks what we need to do is this equation we need to remember what uh, whatever is there in this equation in the same form you need to write its word statement after that we need to start from the equation of divergence and uh, start deriving some of the terms by mentioning the each term okay for those also they may uh, consider marks okay that is we need to uh, mention what is d rho v along with their units then after that all the expressions how it is obtained from gauss law okay after that we will be equating the terms and we will be getting the equation for divergence theorem okay yeah so this was all about the divergence theorem so now